Hey guys, welcome to another viewer question. Uh, this question was sent to me through uh, Instagram. If you do have any questions, uh, drop it in my Instagram or email and I will try and get to it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Right, so with this question, what's the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to have a look at um, what the graph actually looks like at the beginning. So we're going to put this in our graphics calculator. We've got x squared minus 4x uh, plus 8 equals that. And when we draw it, well, that doesn't really help us. Let's zoom out a bit. It's a lot of clicking. Okay, so there we go. That's where the turning point is, and that's at number 2. So if I click on G-Solve and go minimum, it's going to give me the turning point, which is 2 and 4. Now, if you don't have a graphics calculator and you are trying to figure this out, it doesn't matter. You don't need to do this with the graphics calculator. You can do it without it. Um, basically, you've got a tangent, right? Now, you don't know which side it's going to be if you don't do it with a calculator. Um, but right now, we know that this is where uh, 1, 5 is. So what the question is actually asking for is you've got a tangent here, and the perpendicular of this tangent is going to go somewhere there, and they are the question is actually asking you to find out what this point is. All right, so that's what they're trying to ask. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a graphics calculator, you can still kind of work around it. So we've got our um, original function here, which is x squared minus 4x plus 8. When we differentiate this, we're going to get 2x minus 4. So the first thing we want to find out is what that green line's gradient is. Now I'm just going to put the perpendicular one in a different color. So the green line's gradient, um, the point is actually 1, 5. That's actually given to us. So we want to find out what the gradient at 1 is. So we're going to substitute 1 in here, and we find out that it is negative 2. Now, perpendicular gradient, which is this right here, it's just perpendicular m, is kind of saying negative 1 over m. Now, if you did, did uh, coordinate geometry, you might remember this. So the perpendicular gradient in this case is going to be negative 1 divided by negative 2, which actually equals to 0 0.5. So if we go back to that question mark, the question marks, um, whatever that question mark is, now I should have really called it a letter, so I'm going to call this something like B. Uh, let's put this as B. So the gradient at point B is equal to 0 0.5. So we can actually figure out what this is because we know the gradient function, which is 2x minus 4 equals 0 0.5. And then 2x is equal to 0 0.5 plus 4. And if we were to keep going, we're going to get 2x is equal to 4.5. And then x is equal to 4.5 uh, divided by 2, which actually gives us 2.25. Now, it, the question is asking us to figure out what the coordinates are. So we need to give the y value. So we're going to go back here and just work out what the y value is. So it's going to be 2.25 squared minus 4 times 2.25 plus 8. And I'm just going to kind of throw this in the calculator real quickly. Uh, by the way, I did make this video before on how to use variables, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do it quickly. So I'm going to go 2.25 as alpha. Let's go D. Yep. So then I can just uh, do that straight away. So I can just go alpha D squared uh, minus 4. 4 alpha d plus 8. It's just another little tip for you guys to um, kind of make things, the substitution a little bit easier for you on your graphics calculator. Cool. So the point that we have here is 2.25 and 4.0625. Yeah. yeah, I think we've answered the question. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.